TMG fam, it's your boy L and I'm back. Let me make sure I'm in screen. Yeah, I had to come down a little bit. Back with another reaction, man. And we back again. Like she had the audacity to come back with a response. <laughs> a response to after her pops just pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Left it all out on the table. His heart, his feelings, his emotions. Everything he had to say, he got out. And she has the nerve to come back. So you know this can't be good at all. I can't even lie, yo. This broad, and, and yeah, I'm probably being disrespectful with the calling her this broad. But at this point, with her level of disrespect, I feel like I need to match her level of disrespect. So yeah, I said this broad. It is what it is. This broad has the audacity. And now nah, let me not say that because... You know what I mean? At the end of the day, she's still someone's child, and I don't want to disrespect the dad. I got that much respect for the dad that I won't do that to her. All right? So listen, she's responding to her dad's last video, man, and I, I can only imagine where we're, where we're headed, what she's about to say, or what, uh, what she's about to do to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't put nothing past her at this point. What is she about to expose to us now? What is she done recorded or what is she willing to do? I think we already know she's willing to go or spare no expense on destroying her family. She don't care. Everything is for the views and the likes and the subscribers. So let's check this response video out, man. Here we go. Is, should I report this? They didn't even like link my fucking channel. Yeah, should I fucking report? This is literally defamation. Yeah, no, this is literally literally defamation. This is so. This is literally what? The person who clowns somebody who can't pronounce the word defamation? Not you. Not not you. The person that clowns everybody about everything can't say the word defamation. Defation. This is a literal defation. I'm literally the most popular VOD on that channel. That's defation. React to the video. It's kind of fucking irrelevant. And that's not even my dad. He's literally lying. Fine, I'll do a reaction. This really sucks that this has to be my first Crocodile Tears video. This channel was really, the intent of this channel was always to be for the purpose of Nobody Fun Renee, which was my body live. transformation Nobody and weight loss journey uh, for the past year plus. He's like, the intention of my channel was supposed to be, you know, my weight loss journey for a year plus. And like now I'm being forced to like make this video. Nobody fucking asked, fucking stupid fucking us, loser. And that I'm still doing actually. And that's what the intent and purpose of this was always to be. That was the point of my channel. It was supposed to be weight loss and I'm forced into this fucking loser. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Karma ain't hit her enough yet. That's all it boils down to, man. It ain't hit her enough yet, bro. Sit back, grab your popcorn, man. Because when it hits her... <sighs> Due to some family drama, um, my oldest daughter has, uh, with her streaming uh, internet life that she has for herself, she's um, involved her rest of her family into that drama that she has imposed. I did not involve anybody into my channel. It is not my fault that my dad decided to scream at my sister while I was sleeping. I was literally sleeping and being sleeping beauty. So I don't see what the fucking problem is. He's I don't believe that. I believe she set that up to go that way. Now, I wasn't watching her stream or her live, which I'll never be, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't believe that. I believe she set him up like that. 
just embarrassed that you got exposed. Upon us all. His image got exposed. Um, you know, there's been a lot of things. I, I was not aware that she was live streaming while she's sleeping. Like, who does that? He's a liar. I, whenever I would like be off of live, I told him multiple times, please be careful about what you said because you've doxed my name. Because my dad's doxed me multiple times and leaked the address multiple times and he'd say embarrassing things on live. And for the past month, I've been trying to tell him, I'm alive, there's a lot of people, please don't say my name. And what he'd say is, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking care, Maya. And then I said, then I'd be like, please be quiet. I'm live right now. Just please like careful what you say. Do, do anybody, can anybody imagine her saying that? Please be quiet, dad, please be quiet. She don't even talk like that. Everything out of her mouth is utter disrespect. So to hear the word please come out of I'm not believing that. Believing you even know how to say the word please is shocking to me. That you even know what that word is. Let alone use it. I, I just, I don't see you using that word. So again, another lie. I don't fucking care. Yeah, he's lying. Does that? Like who just puts on a camera and just films herself while they're sleeping? But Again, I don't understand uh, the current culture of what people rash. will watch as entertainment yeah, he past doesn't. time. Irrelevant. Um, I've told him multiple times that I'm live and to please be careful what he says. I'm live and he just said, I don't fucking care. I don't give a fuck. He's only mad now and pretending that I, that I did not tell him multiple fucking times to be quiet and not yell out information because he's embarrassed he got exposed. The comments. I have, I've been on uh, IP2. I've, I've seen the post um, and I've seen, I've read a lot of the comments. So uh, as they say in Reddit, the comments are, the gold is always in the comments. So um, Maya West, since you want dox to me, I've you know, dox me and put my home address out on the internet, blast me and my social media accounts and the things. He is the one that doxed me. Two weeks ago, he literally yelled out loud the address. He's yelled the address. He's yelled my name. He's yelled his own name. He's doxed the entire fucking family. And I'm trying to do with my life in the world. I'm doing this live as kind of my response to that. Now, I'm not trying to seek retaliation. I'm not. I really am not. This is exactly what he's doing. Oh, I'm not trying to leak retaliation, but I'm just going to dox you. I'm just going to make a lie about you. I'm just going to lie and fucking slander you online for 30 minutes. I'm not trying to seek retaliation. I'm, trying, I'm not trying to be vindictive. But the point is, is that I raised you on my own for 13 years. 13 years as a single parent. Never been the best parent in the world. There's a lot of parents. That's not true. My mom raised me for most of my life. My dad only raised me for two years two years on his own for two years out there probably have been in similar situations to what i'm in right now that can totally identify with what i'm having to deal with right now I'm dealing with a whole bunch of crap right now but i'm an adult and i'll deal with it i'll deal with it and i'm he's not an adult he's making a live stream lying slandering an 18 year old girl he's 40. he like nobody forced him to do this live stream really anything in your life you've never and had yeah, she got that victim role <laughs> down pat, don't she? And oh, now all of a sudden, I'm an 18-year-old. Like, y'all notice the pattern? She keeps doing that. When he threatened to kick her out, what did she do? She went to that victim role and called the police. And she really turned it on. Like, she got into full-blown actress mode. Oh, my God, he's threatening me. He has multiple weapons. I feel for my life. See the pattern? <laughs> Yo. It's not, it's not going to end well for you, sweetheart. He's acting like, oh, this is supposed that, to do this live stream. Really, anything in your life, you've never and had And he's acting like, oh, this is supposed but to be that, positive. That all ended my weight loss. last he night. He decided to go live. you decided to call the cops thinking that I'm going to threaten your life and kill you, which there is no record of that. I have pictures, videos, and I have a bunch of, I literally have audio, I have audio recordings and videos of my dad threatening to kill me. If you, if you know, if everybody wants to call me a fucking liar, if you. So now you know what she's saying, right? <laughs> this could get a lot worse, bro. Cause I, I, I truly feel like she wants, she's, she's gonna drop that. She's going to drop whatever she has or, or that, which I don't think he threatened her like that. Or he probably said some stuff being pissed off and mad. And what do you expect? 
you cost your pops his job. You cost him his job. So him spazzing out and, and lashing out in rage because he just lost his livelihood? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a tendency to go f too far sometimes. We all do. So whatever she has, <laughs> if she has it, bro, I believe it'll be out soon. And it may already be out. So y'all let me know in the comment section, bro, because she doesn't strike me as the person that's just going to hold footage or something else that could bring controversy because she know controversy sells. So she's not going to hold on to that footage if she has it. It'll drop. You guys want to call me a liar? I could show you guys the pictures and videos. Told you. Completely false, but just to get attention from the internet and increase your view count and likes and subscribers, whatever your aims. All of this is him being angry that he embarrassed himself on my live while I was sleeping. Where your life was in danger, you called 911. So there this was is no completely acting. self imposed. You take this video down ASAP, or I will sue you. This you take down ASAP. You need to leave tonight. Call a Uber taxi, get out of the house. I'm done with you. You get out. You need to leave my house tonight. And he was sending... Uh, <laughs> I see no problem with that. <laughs> None of those text messages, to be honest with you, bro. You lucky you got that. Fam, you lucky you got that, bro. Like, I see nothing wrong. I'm sorry. Sorry, all of those text messages were warranted. You was being a little prick. That's what you was being. <laughs> no sympathy here. I'm done with you. You get out. You need to leave my house tonight. And he was sending me to take down the video or I will sue you. As I was trying to take it down, I, I told him I can't take it down. I have no Wi-Fi on my computer. I had bad signal, not everything was on live, and I had to end the live one time. I'm not lying, and I have- <laughs> You are lying. You are lying. Nobody believes you wanted to take- You was getting too much attention. You are not taking that video down. I have live, and I had to end the live one time. I'm not lying, and I have- I have set like I have separate occurrences, and I have it on video for a separate occurrence of him, like, threatening to kill me. Why do you think I moved in with Matt? Because he was threatening to kill me and Matt heard it himself and so has his mom. Fuck you. Get out my house. You need to vacate. Go to a hotel. Call the cops. Like, not... Like, I'm just saying, think about it. He's obviously leeching on me for brand promotion. He's trying to use this to bring more exposure to his books. Nobody told him to go live, and everything he's saying on his live is all lies. Some of it's true, like the whole Xanax thing, that was true. I did move in with Matt, but I didn't get kicked out in two months. Um, I left like six, seven months after, because it just wasn't working out. I wasn't happy, and he was leaving to college. He's not a good parent. He's threatened to kill me multiple times. He, he'd break his doors, he'd destroy his house, and Matt has seen it. Matt and his mom have... Which you as his daughter, yeah, yeah, it's probably a lot of broken things in the house, man. He can't put his hands on you. So he probably broke a door. He probably, yeah, I believe that. I actually do. You're the type of kid that makes somebody really want to put either their fist through a door or through a wall or their head through a wall or something. Just smash something. You, you're that kid. You're that kid. I've seen it. Otherwise, like, I would have never moved in with him had that not been, like, what's actually happening. And her recording while she's sleeping and capturing the, the, the altercation that happened between me and her younger sister, T. He's, like, he's acting as if I did that on purpose. He's acting as if I heard them fight and I woke up and I captured it. I didn't do that. I was on live eight hours before this occurred and I fell asleep on live. I was sleeping during the... My dad never had a job. My dad made that up. Dad is lying and leeching. He's leeching. My dad quit his job three years ago. He quit his job three years ago. Throughout my entire life, my dad has lied about losing his job. My dad would lie about losing his job for his own, but for his own gain of manipulating other people. My dad has lied multiple times saying that my mom caused him to lose his job. Like whenever my mom would try to, because he sold his house, 
he sold his house and people who've been watching for a while knows know that I had to move because he sold his house because he's not working. I do have a temper. I admit that. And I'm actually got anger management classes scheduled. So for those of you that have recommended anger management, it was already something being discussed and worked on. So that is happening. So my dad was legally required to take anger management classes by CPS twice. But now he's gonna take them, now he's gonna take them, and which he never took them. He's saying that I'm being vindicated. See, the thing about this is, she could be telling the truth, right? She could be telling the God honest truth right now. But who believes her? Why? Because we witnessed you cry wolf on the phone with the cops. So anything falling out your mouth right now is nothing but garbage, hot garbage. That's all it is to me, because I can't tell if you're telling the truth. You painted yourself into that corner. You put yourself out there like that. And now we view you as this. So you, who's to know who's telling? Ah, this is a messed up situation, bro. And the fact that it's playing out online is even crazier for me. Like I come from that family where you don't air out your differences in front of everybody else. Everybody not supposed to be in your business. That, that doesn't do nothing but make it worse. Why? Misery loves company. So you're going to have a bunch of people, random people, giving you bad advice. They don't care. So what she's seeking? She's seeking love in the wrong places, bro. Addictive just because I fell asleep on my live stream. I had no idea that my dad would decide to yell at my sister before I slept. Before I fell asleep, I had no idea, like I can't see the future. And even when he told me to take down the live stream, I told him I'd take it down, but I need to be connected to the Wi-Fi and that's on live stream. And he never put the Wi-Fi back on and gave me the ability to do that. So how am I being vindictive? And just because I bullied a cancer patient does not mean that what I'm saying is not true. Okay. At least you admitted it. The other day you did, you were saying, oh, you can't get me. You'll never get me. You have no proof. You just admitted it just then. See, like, her, ah, uh, uh, bro. I bullied a cancer patient does not mean that what I'm saying is not true. Content where you're going after people because of either disability, their ethnicity, or, or disease, or thing like cancer. That is horrible. You, and, and the problem is, is I, I'm, as your father, I didn't, this is not the person that I raised. I did not raise you. I'm not going to say anything unless I have concrete evidence to back it up. But my dad has made jokes about disabled people, cancer people. He's made jokes about harming animals, but I have no evidence to that. I don't record my dad. It's because I don't fucking just go around recording my family. I don't have evidence for that. But I'm saying like, that's kind of hypocritical. That's kind of hypocritical. I'm gonna report all the poor dwellers. But no, really, that's just what fucking happened. What did she say? I'm gonna report what? Hypocritical. That's kind of hypocritical. I'm gonna report all the poor dwellers. Report what? It's kind of hypocritical. I'm gonna report all the poor dwellers. But no, really, that's just what fucking happened. Should I do like a makeup tutorial? Listen, man, this is one messed up situation, bro. They had to play out in front of everybody. Um, I feel f bad for, you know, who I really feel bad for is the sister that we didn't see the younger sister, the minor that has to, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how the internet is. They find out where you go to school. They find out everything about you. So I'm pretty sure she's having to hear about this constantly in school. Um, getting it thrown in her face. Like, I, just, I feel bad for her. She didn't deserve this. She didn't ask for this, man. And she's completely been thrown into a fire because of what's going on with her older sister and her dad. Like, we got to start thinking about who this type of thing effects man you know what i'm saying we got to get past our own selves and think about others and 
that's that's what I feel bad for right now. This is crazy. I, this is this is beyond crazy, man. Um, I've been seeing y'all responses, man. Shout outs to y'all, man. It is some decent people in the world. And then it's still some that I just can't get over the one in that first video. It was somebody that, that was pretty much on her side. Pretty much. I, I don't understand it. I don't see how anybody could be. You know what I mean? But we'll never know the complete 100% truth. You know, you know what I mean? We just have to take everything and make our judgment off of what we just seen. And that's what we did. So let me know what y'all thought of this video, man. I'm out of here. I'm gone. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gone. Till the next reaction of my peace, y'all stay solid. Hey.